All right, our final topic tonight, September 21 is annual International Peace Day and the UN General Assembly declaring it as a day marked by strengthening the ideals of peace through 24 hours of nonviolence and ceasefire. But beyond just not attacking one another, many organizations are working to actively foster new relationships. Organizations like Elitsur, Geneva World Peace, Chess for All, and Sharaka, which banded together to host an International Peace Day chess tournament. Joining me with more, Director of Communications and Global Affairs with the Sharaka NGO, Major in the Reserves, Dan Pfefferman, and Lior Eisenberg, CEO of Chess for All. Thank you both so much for joining us. Now, uh, Major, I'm going to start with you. How did this come about? Oh, this was a fantastic uh, initiative. Lior uh, at Chess for All, Shachmat uh, Lekol in Hebrew, uh, approached us and said uh, he'd love to partner with us on this Chess for Solidarity event. And uh, of course, uh, that's what our organization, Sharaka, which means partnership in Arabic, is all about bringing together peoples from uh, Israel and all over the Arab world. And uh, it connected very well with Lior's vision uh, of bringing people together from around the world through chess. And so uh, we uh, gladly partnered with him and in putting on this fantastic event. Lior, you know, of course, as the CEO of Chess for All, of course, chess is always uh, on your mind. But you know, how did you get the idea to, to incorporate Peace Day with, with this chess tournament? Uh, of course, uh, this year was a remarkable uh, year of five peace agreements, relations agreements that, uh, that were signed by Israel this year. We are the first in the world in signing uh, so many uh, relations agreements this, uh, this year. And, uh, you know, every year this uh, event uh, comes to be uh, an event that, uh, that uh, used as a platform uh, sometimes for uh, Palestinians' uh, initiatives and organizations and such. And uh, I wanted to do an Israeli solidarity event that promotes uh, uh, solidarity. And, uh, and Sharaka is a great partner because all that they are doing all over the year in order to connect between people, in order to connect between organizations from the Gulf and from Israel. And uh, uh, we are looking uh, uh, at chess also uh, with, uh, as a sports with added value. And uh, we, we initiated the Chess for Solidarity initiative that already brought together uh, something like 6,000 players from all over the world, including from the Arab countries. And, so, so, uh, so, and, I, I wanted, so I wanted to ask yes. uh, uh, if I could uh, bring both of you in who, you know, how many participants from where, uh, were there any any maybe notable participants or, or you know international superstar grandmasters who maybe participated anything like that? Uh, yes, there were uh, uh, more than six hundred players, including for uh, players from Iran and from Bangladesh and from uh, 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 Saudi Arabia and many countries that don't have uh, diplomatic relations with Israel, and we had. Uh, we had grandmasters. It's it's not only a, a chess diplomacy initiative. Mm -hmm. It's also chess, and uh, there are there are many grandmasters and best players from all over the the world that are playing and are and they are earning money from it. And uh, it's great also for beginners and also for uh, players that are uh, professional players. So, uh, Major, I want to come back to you. You know, who won? What? How, uh, what are people maybe saying now that the event has ended? Uh, you know, what have been some of the reactions, and what's next? Well, uh, Lior can update on who won. I believe it was someone from India or Bangladesh. Azerbaijan. 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 I'm sorry about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, there were a few different categories. So I, I got confused, but sure. uh, mm -hmm. it was really incredible. People from over 70 countries, from all over the Middle East uh, and well beyond, playing in this Israeli organized. Um, uh, and sponsored chess event. Uh, judge, an Israeli judge, an Iraqi judge, um, were there, and it was incredible. And and, you know, we're looking to promote and help support any kind of such initiatives that are bringing people together over positive things. And uh, Lior uh, helped bring to us chess diplomacy, as uh, we're going to call it. Hmm. And uh, sky's the limit for what we can accomplish 
uh, in this new uh, Jewish year. Um, and, uh, you know, a, lo a lot of exciting things lie ahead. All right. Well, I, I just want to say congratulations again. And it is such an amazing event that I was really happy to learn more about and to have you guys uh, discuss with us. Thank you both so much for, for joining us again today. Thank you so Thank much. You.